What's up guys, Boyle96 HD here, we are back, we're doing another player review for you today. It's been a while since I've done one of these, to say the least. But uh, today we're reviewing the this week's team of the week, Louis Muriel, maybe last week, so I don't know. But uh, anyway, it depends on when this is brought out. But uh, there's a team I'm playing them, as you will see. A uh, really nice team. The cam I can't find, so I couldn't, I think I have them in the trade pile at the time I recorded this. But we run through his card stats and etc, uh, etc. Et but before I start the video, a big thank you to... UT coin traders, if you do want cheap and reliable coins, check them out. Link is in the description. Not going to let you down. Anyway, Muriel is 80 rated. He's really, really nice stats. The main ones being his 91 pace, his 80 shooting, and his 89 dribbling. S70 passing, which isn't too bad for a striker. He's 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. He's right footed, he's 5 foot 10. And as you can see, I played 17, or I played 11 games with him and got 17 golds. I picked him up for 93,000 coins, which is a fair bit to pay for him, to say the least. Uh, he is coming down to about 70 at the moment and I do expect him to keep dropping to 50 with this team of the year buzz So for 50k or for 60k whatever he drops I think he'll be definitely worth it We look at his in-game stats a few of them stand out to me being his ball control being 87 His dribbling being 92 His finishing being 88 His finishing is clinical as fuck Decent long shot right foot on him for a long shot as well being 82 rated um, His nimble footwork is fantastic in this guy with the pace and the dribbling 89 pace and 91 dribbling or 91 pace 89 dribbling I don't even know which way around it makes a fantastic fantastic player shot power as you can see they're really nice rated too so two penalties and so two volleys uh, medium attack and work rate low defensive not too bad not fantastic could be a lot worse I didn't find that definitely the biggest letdown anyway uh, this is where the main stats there as you can see his physical attributes 90 acceleration and all sorts he's a speedy 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 cunt but uh, anyway, we'll go on into a few goals and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Basically, I found this guy really, really good at weaving in and out through defenders. And when he got in that box, as you can see, there's that finishing. Amazing finish, Daddy. Took it around two defenders, ran straight, diagonal across, across the box. And a lovely finish there into the bottom right hand corner. And these clips should show to you, for me anyway, what's the finishing like. It really just should show you. Look at that for another finish. P picks it up on his right foot and absolutely bursts the net out of it. I found his finishing <coughs> so, so good. Definitely one of his main points for me. But uh, if you ask me, would you spend the 70k or so, whatever he is at now on this card? What's his pros and what's his con? Pros, his finishing is one of the best I've played with. His nimble footwork, his agility and his pace is absolutely crazy. As you can see, his pace to get away from the last man is great. His weak foot is good. Never mind, four, I think it's four star weak foot or three star. Whatever it is, it's found it really, really well for me. I was able to score both feet, no problem. But this is where I found the most influential. There you go. Look at him able to turn a whole defence with that pace. And his finishing is absolutely amazing. He's not going to miss that either foot. He's fantastic at finishing. And I promise you he will not let you down. Heading wise. I didn't really see much of see him much like I didn't see him. he wasn't going in the box if he get me to head the ball as you can see that medium attack and work rates kind of ended him up in a center attack in mid position but it didn't really mind me it didn't really bother me too much because he had the pace ahead the dribbling the four star skills to be able to get up in the into that striker position with ease there's an unbelievable finish again and the only cons I have with this guy is that I didn't find him too much of an upgrade from his non inform I found a finishing ten times better. I found him once he was true he wasn't gonna miss. I found his shooting a bit better. I found his heading no difference and I found his nimble footwork just so so good. But um if this guy does drop to about sixty K with team of the season I'd definitely buy him. He's not gonna he's gonna be a fantastic, fantastic finisher. You can put him in a nine cam team with Ibarbo with Dean and Talley. But they work really really well together. Uh, definitely I recommend, or recommend you trying them but if you enjoyed this video leave a comment leave a like thank you very much for watching check out UT coin traders if you want coins definitely recommend Muriel if you have the coins and uh, thank you very much for watching that